In this video right here, I'm going to be playing PS4 games off of an external hard drive on my PS5. So I'm going to be showing you guys how that works because storage, storage is a big problem this year. There's not a lot of storage on the original PlayStation. So any PlayStation, doesn't matter if it's a disc version or the digital version, the problem is storage. Storage is a problem regardless of whichever one you get. So the thing is, if you want to play PS4 games on your PS5, it'll be smart to, you know, put all those games on an external storage and then play them on your PS5 by hooking up the storage whenever you want to play. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video right here. So if you're interested in finding out or seeing this, stick around for this video right here and let's get to it, y'all. Okay, so here we are at the home screen. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings menu over on the right side and then you look for your storage. So as you can see right there, free space is only 69.25 gigabytes. There's not a lot of storage and that's because I have a bunch of PS4 games as well as you know the PS5 games on this console. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. My games and apps right here. So you can see all the games I have here. There's a few PS4 games on there. There's nothing else taking much space on the PlayStation 5 besides the games and the apps. Those are the major ones, mostly just the games. As you can see, the second menu option is extended storage. So this is what is going to pop up when we plug in the external uh, drive. So I'm going to plug that in right now and show you guys what it looks like when plugged in. Okay, as you can see right now, it just popped up. That's my Passport 0830. That's just my external hard drive. So it's one terabyte large or 918 gigabytes, as you can see on the screen right there. So the free space is 879 because I already have one game on there. So you could just go over to your console storage over here and then, you know, go into your games and apps. And then you see those two options at the top, items you can delete and items you can move. So you want to go for items you can move. And as you can see, it's only PS4 games. So I'm really hoping that this, you know, function gets passed on to PS5 games as well down the line. So I can just click on one of these and decide to, you know, move it right here. And it's just going to move it to the extended storage. So I'm not going to really do that right now. I'm just going to stop that. You get the idea. You know how it works. It's not, it doesn't depend on your internet speed or anything like that. It's directly to the hard drive. So if you have a USB 3.0 hard drive, it'll be faster. If you have a USB 2.0, hard drive it wouldn't be as fast but let's get back to the extended storage and try to play a game off of that so as you can see i've got one game on there days gone before i play days gone i'm gonna disconnect my hard drive so you can see that i can't play it without the hard drive and then i'll plug it right back in to show you i can you know play it with the hard drive one thing you should note is that you don't want to just disconnect your hard drive or your usb drive directly you want to go back to storage again every time you do this every single time and go to your extended storage and then you choose safely remove from PS5. This is important or you could damage the information that's on there. I don't know if you want to do that. So I'm going to say yes. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the main menu as you can see. You know what? I don't even have to disconnect it right now. Once you click safely remove from PS5, it basically disconnects from your PS5. So I'm pretty sure I can just go in and try now and it's not going to play. So let's try that. As you can see right there, it says can't find game or app to start it, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I can't play it. So without the hard drive connected, I can't play it. I'm going to go reconnect it and show you guys that I can play it with the hard drive on there. Okay, so I've connected it back to the PlayStation 5. So I'm going to open Days Gone and play it off of that. As you can see, there's no problems. It's going smoothly already because I'm also using a USB 3.0 hard drive. So you can look down in the description if you're looking for hard drives you can buy because there's a lot of them all over the place. You can just pick them up. If you have if you have one laying around the house, just grab it. Just make sure it's at least 250 gigabytes. 250 gigabytes. Or you can't use it with the PS5. Okay, so the game is all loaded up right now. And all I have to do is confirm. And I get to play off my hard drive. It's super easy. This thing works flawlessly. So that's the good thing about it is how smoothly it works. There's no problems. But I don't know why it's not working for PS5 games. You know, that should be a thing that's just in the game from day one. But it's not there. And I don't know why. I hope they fix it. Really, really hope that there's a way to add extended storage. Personally, I don't really need external storage. Because I don't play, you know, more than one or two games at once so I usually just delete them and then download them again if I really want to play them again you know but I usually don't play more than one or two at once so I don't need that much you know memory but for the PS4 games it's okay it's cool to have it on there because I don't really want to always download them I can just play them directly off of here but I really hope they fix that that's that's just I don't know why it's I don't even know I can't even talk about that this is basically how it works it's super easy there's no problems with it you can just go ahead and play and that's it man I'm just loading this, this is just a loading screen right now Okay, so here we go. Game is basically started right now. I know you guys can see this. So this is all it is. 
You can run your PS4 games on your PS5 off of an external hard drive. That way you save your space and you don't have to worry about, you know, dealing with these problems, these storage memory space at the start of your PS5 journey. So that's basically it on how the external hard drive or external USB drives work with the PS5 to play PS4 games. So like I said during the entire video, it's unfortunate that there's no way you can transfer PS5 games to an external storage and play them off of there because that would have been awesome, especially so you don't have to download every single time you want to play but that's not the case but let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the storage that was allocated to us on the ps5 and you know what you think about the fact that there's no way to transfer ps5 games to external storage if you enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel if you enjoy this video i want to see some more like it make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and i'll catch you guys in my next video it's midas and i'm out y'all